Good morning, Franklin. It is Monday morning. I'm Eric Stuckey, your city administrator. We're out here in the neighborhoods because something exciting is getting ready to happen. It's fall and you can tell because it's leaf collection season. Now things are a little bit different this year in terms of how we're handling leaf collection. I have one of our crews here with us and Daniel Brady's here. Daniel, tell us about what's new about leaf collection and what should people know? Well, this year we've changed up the routing a little bit. Uh, actually, leaf season is running and the city is broke down into two sections. You got a green zone and an orange zone. Uh, the easy way to know where you are is what side of 96 you're on. That's the division line. Everything north of 96 will be the green. South of 96 is going to be the orange zone. Uh, your collections will be every other week. So that gives you a full week for getting all your leaves out. Um, when you get them out, we just want to try to make sure everybody gets them close to the curb. Try not to put them close to the mailboxes or parked cars. We want at least five foot distance in there so we don't have to worry about getting anything tore up. Uh, try to avoid the storm drains because we are going to get uh, rain before this is over with and we don't want to stop those up with leaves. Um, the other big thing to watch out for when you're putting out your leaves this year is to try to keep the sticks and where you've cut bushes back and grass clippings and stuff like that out of the leaf piles. Those do cause a lot of equipment problems and breakdowns and with uh, this modified system we want to keep everything running just as efficiently as we can. Great. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate the work you all do. Uh, get those leaves out and we'll be collecting from now, mid-October through uh, middle of January. So every other week, if you're, uh, th this week is the orange zone. So that's the area south of 96. And next week will be the green zone. So there, are, I think that makes seven opportunities throughout the fall for each of those zones to get collection services. So uh, check that out and great advice there on, the, on how to do it and uh, an important service we're glad to provide during the fall season. So that's item number one. Item number two, just to update you, we've been promoting Paint the Town Orange, which is uh, led by the Heritage Foundation and the uh, Franklin Convention and Visitors Bureau and this week's theme is bountiful brews so some of our downtown restaurants in particular have some specials for you you can go to the Heritage Foundation website williamsonheritage.org or the visitfranklin.com website and get more information but there's some nice promotions from some of our local uh, restaurants to, to encourage and help celebrate fall, especially in downtown Franklin. So that's item number two. Item number three, I uh, want to go back to give you some COVID stats just to, to share with you because we have seen a bit of a surge in October. We started the month at 376 active cases. As of Sunday night, we were at 582. So that's a significant e increase over 200 active cases in just 11 days. So that's a 54% in over 54% increase. So be mindful, continue to wear those masks when you can't keep distance like I've got right here uh, and make sure that you are washing your hands frequently, staying home when you're sick, all those are good appropriate safeguards to help keep everybody well. So those are your top three things for this week. Get those leaves out, enjoy a beautiful fall in Franklin, Tennessee and have a great week.